Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're just joining us, we are talking about the IKEA event of 2018 and we are going to be talking about the artists in this, this grouping. So usually, if you don't know, IKEA does an art event every year in the spring. It usually is paper on cheap paper and their photos, drawings, paintings, and then you'll find them in the clearance bin a few weeks later. Now this year IKEA is doing something different. They're doing this where they're having artists work with glass. So we're going to talk about each artist in this series and this week we're talking about Ludwig Lofgren. So this is a picture of him. So a little bit about him is he's from Sweden. He was born in 1972. He went to the University of Arts, Craft and Design in Stockholm and he's very much a homegrown artist so that sounds like in Sweden. Now we're going to look at his Instagram. So if you scroll through his Instagram, you just see that it's kind of this, these like inspirational photos of things that he sees as cool. It's not a lot of his work. So if you're looking to follow him, I didn't follow him because I want to see work. And this doesn't show much work, except down here you'll find the, the eye that he created for the IKEA collab. So and then I put two links below for two different uh, websites that you can buy his work at. One is more of a gallery that sells his work, that he sells the work to them. And the other one, it seems like it's the company that he works for creating particular uh, objects they are for them. And so we're gonna talk about the contrast of all of these images of these objects and then what he did for Ikea. So we're gonna look at these things then we're gonna compare and contrast. So if you type in Ludwig Lofgren, and don't forget how to spell it with the special zeros and things. Um, I'm not sure what those are called in Swedish. And you'll cut, one of the first images I found was this monkey. So this monkey is made in all black and on both websites I could find it for sale. And I think it's about $315 American. And, I, and it's like, ser like this set me very excited to see what he was gonna do and who he is as an artist and what's gonna happen. And then I saw this one, uh, this is a rabbit. And again, well crafted, the image is slightly uh, changed a little bit. So it's not hyper realistic. It's very fun, it's very carefree. Now here's a bowl that he made. Now what I like about his, his, like, his useful pieces, those unitary, uh, the things I like about these pieces are that they're useful. And so I only have this one and there's another one a little later on we're gonna talk about that are, that are practical pieces. And this one, you can still see that he's playing on ideas of nature and what it, things that are found in the wild. And if you look at how the bowl is shaped and rendered, it's well done and it's exciting. And then we're gonna look at this owl again kind of like the rabbit from before. It's fun, it's carefree, there's a lot of craft and there's a lot of skill and you look at the color variations and the feathering and around the eyes and it's beautiful and it's, and it's enjoyable to look at. And it's something that you, if you put it in the window, it would just sparkle and shine. And then you have this other practical piece, this candle votive of the skull, which these are great. And these come in a variety of colors. I chose the green, I don't know. And he does, back to just the skull is that he does this color and he does it well and it's a really interesting fun color and I've seen it in multiple pieces as I scrolled through his work. Now then we get to some of his more out there work which are these hearts. Now he has several hearts and then he also has a collection of work called Tattoo. Now these are a little more abstract for him but they're still in that realm of well done, they're, do they're done with skill, there's a lot of you know, interesting suppleness to visual context to them. And then we get this for Ikea. It's an eyeball. What do you think? I think it's terrible. I will not be buying this. I would not encourage anyone to buy it. It looks like a cheap paperweight you'll find at the dollar store in a few weeks doesn't say anything exciting about anything. Compared to the other artists, this is by far the worst and it doesn't seem to match his body of work. And as someone who works with glass, I feel like he could have done something significantly better, 
So for me, this is a hard pass. Um, stay tuned after this. There will be um, an update on what's happening with the IKEA collab and dates and times and prices. And then below are links to the websites where you could buy his actually good work, which I would recommend buying, but not this. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for joining me.